Welcome guys. Hey guys here, Matt. Max, and we are Fit Techs, back again for season two. I like it, a little hiatus, getting bigger and better, you know what we're saying? And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the seven health benefits of beer. We hear enough negative things about beer. What does beer do good for us? And that's kind of what we're going to go on. Yeah, so let's uh, let's jump into it. The first health benefit um, that we found is it can lower the risk of heart disease. How's that? And um, so Italian researchers found that moderate beer drinkers had a 42% lower risk of heart disease compared to non-beer drinkers. Okay, and remember this is moderate beer drinking, so... College frat guys this doesn't mean you guys either. Here. You know, we're, th- we're we're talking about a pint or less, and um, around five percent alcohol. So, you know, what well, we're uh, drinking here, just gonna maintain that one. So the only way I see that actually working is moderation. It's like the same thing. If I was to have a banana a day, that's great. If I had ten bananas, I'd have an issue. I do not know much about that research for lowering the risk of heart disease, but I think in typical, most people who drink beer are typically healthy people. But I like what you're saying. What we were saying based off of moderation. So one to two cans or bottles of beer and, and you'll be you'll be good to go there. So let's uh, jump into number two health benefit of beer. And um, it can help prevent type 2 diabetes. So Dutch researchers analyzed 38,000 males and found that when men who drank moderately over four years were significantly less likely to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now that one's kind of scary because any of you who have type 2 diabetes, the first thing they say is don't drink alcohol because of the raises of the glucose level. If I have a beer every day, my body gets used to that and can absorb the calories, absorb the alcohol and react properly. Small amounts of beer. If I was to have a lot, I'm definitely going to have issues with my glucose level. Be careful when you have the beer and always monitor yourself if you have diabetes. This is saying the prevention of diabetes based on they've already, that's included in their diet. Okay. And now let's jump into number three. It increases bone density. Now that it's been found to have. Actually in beer is the silicone that makes up the bone structure. So it does increase the bone density of the bone. Keep in mind though, in order to get the amount of silicone that you need for beer to make the difference that this study says, that you need one to two liters of beer per day. And that's that's a lot, huh? That's not my <laughs> uh, that's not moderate drinking by itself. That's for you frat guys. You got good bone density. There's your help if you're a frat drinker, you know, you're out there drinking your six pack, your twelve pack, having fun. May not be the best for you, but there's a bit of a benefit there. Strong bones, don't drive. Now here's an interesting one for all you uh, workout nerds. It could be a good workout recovery drink. And now what I'm saying here is, instead of maybe drinking water at the end to rehydrate yourself, maybe try a beer and see what happens. Um, Matt's already making faces at me. (laughs) In a Spanish study, researchers asked students to exercise until their body temperature reached 104 degrees. Then they had them rehydrate with water or beer. The people that had a post-workout pint were slightly more hydrated than those who had H2O. <clears throat> All right, let me get in, involved in this one. <laughs> I, in general, alcohol is a diuretic. You actually lose more water than you absorb drinking. The way I see this working is because beer has such a high carbohydrate load from the wheat and the other calories that are in it, that for every molecule of a carbohydrate, you have two to three molecules of, of water. That's two molecules of water that's just gonna hold in that one. So you retain water by having the carbs. So if I was to drink that beer, my body will retain water. But will it properly hydrate me? No. And in fact, we have a study showing that if you have 200 milliliters of beer, or alcohol in this case, that you will urinate 320 milliliters of, a, of diluted water meaning you're at a negative 120 milliliters, which means you're you're thirstier than you started. And so in that case, I fight this, but for the immediate reaction, your body will absorb the water from the carbohydrate load. Okay, so let's go on to number five. As most of you may know, it is a confidence booster. Liquid courage? So British researchers asked participants who had consumed either a real 
or fake alcoholic drink to give a speech. These um, students that you know took a drink did not know if it was real or fake. When asked to evaluate themselves on how good looking, smart, and funny they felt they were, people who thought they had an alcoholic beverage gave themselves more positive self-evaluations regardless of whether or not they were actually buzzed or drunk. Well, that makes sense. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Anytime we want to go out and we have to talk to that significant other or someone we'd like or we do something, a beer does help. I feel more confident. There's actually some science to this, though. The alcohol in, in beer is actually um, is a uh, sedative, which makes you feel more calm. And the more you have, you quit worrying about the stresses of your own life. So let's say, for example, I'm freaking out. I have a beer. Well, I'm not freaking out as much. So I can relax and look inward more. <laughs> I like the way I look. I like the way I feel, you know. And that's what they're saying. And they actually have found that at 0 0.07, you're at your most confidence and still being able to function. So if I'm 0.08, I'm starting to lose my ability to, to be confident. It's also your creativity. A lot of artists drink wine or beer when doing art. And that 0 0.07 finds them at that peak. Problem is, people don't maintain that. And um, just curious about, so what? What is the? Uh, you can't drink or drive. What, what? What is that point at? Point zero eight. So you're you're dancing. So you're, a fine you're getting line close. Right there. <laughs> you're getting yeah. close. The sixth health benefit of beer, it can lower blood pressure. Um, in a Harvard study, researchers found that moderate beer drinkers are less likely to develop high blood pressure than those who sip wine or cocktails. Well, that's also true. There, and there's some science in that one. Basically, alcohol, beer in this case, is a vasodilator, meaning it relaxes the blood vessels. So there's less pressure against them when they're more elastic. Now, it only affects it by two to four milliliters per hemoglobin, which isn't very much. So it's not gonna solve any problems, but it does make you feel a little bit better, confidence, and does relax the, the, the walls of your veins, of your veins. And, you know, once again, this is keeping in mind with moderate drinking. So let's go to the last one, the seventh. It's one drink per day. Sorry to interrupt, but that's a moderation for that one. Oh, for that one, one drink. Okay, so don't go to two. Um, seventh health benefit of beer, which uh, many of you have probably witnessed yourselves, the cleansing of the gastro tract. The intestines. Beer is a good source of soluble fibers, and um, you know this helps clean out your digestive tracts. And as Matt was saying before, it's good for urination, which facilitates in removing toxins and waste materials from your body. So, health benefit right there. Well, heck yeah! Like we talked about earlier, um, the uh, beer being a diuretic, where you actually lose more than you gained. The same reason as you drink, you're gonna urinate more. Well, what's a lot of toxins in your body? So it is a good thing to urinate more often in a day. And that's what we're saying on this one. And actually what it's doing is because the alcohol comes in, it's messing with the body and how it processes it in the liver. So the body doesn't know how to handle it, so it just gets rid of it very quickly, and that's where you urinate more. So now you got it. Drinking beer in moderation, one, maybe two cans a day, not too much, obviously. And you have a few health benefits there. I mean, seven with us. There are more out there that are listed. These are just the ones we pick to, uh, to tell know, you guys. share I mean, with you guys. There is tons of B vitamins. We can talk about that one. Yeah. It does help fight kidney stones, part of the urination. So we're just a, a, a few steps. But uh, please uh, like, share, and ask questions. We'd love to answer them. Yeah. Thanks for watching another episode of Fit Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. See you later. Bye.